What's going on? Gear video this week. It'll be a little bit in the shop and then out in a while. So, my beloved headlamp finally bit the dust. My um, Uko Air that I've had for five or six years finally stopped working. Well, it'll turn on. It just won't turn off anymore, which is no good. Because he turned it on once and it just stays on until the battery dies. So, it's time to replace it. And I start looking online. And there's a couple things I want it to have. I don't particularly care about the the ultimate brightness of it. I'm not the kind of person who's going to have the brightest light in the world to see everything that's around me. I just need to light up my immediate area. So lumens were not extremely high on the list. I wanted it to be small, wanted it to be light, had to have a red light, and I wanted it to be rechargeable. I didn't want to have to carry batteries with me into the woods. So what I found and what I settled on was this. This is, whoop, I got it upside down. This is the Nebo Micro Headlamp. Uh, it's 400 lumens. It also has a, a, a little clip on there so you can attach it to like a hat, which like a baseball cap, which I don't wear. But in the winter, I do use that um, coal wool hat that I got that was a special edition for that Uko Air that had the attachment that I could just pop the headlamp onto my, my wool hat, which I really liked. And I think I'll be able to modify that hat to be able to use this. So I'll still be able to use the, the headlamp without the head strap in the winter, which I, I really liked. Um, so the, the Nebo Micro Headlamp, this is a 400 lumens headlamp. It is rechargeable, and it's got seven light modes, I believe. Way more than I need, but um, it is really small, and I didn't weigh it, but I'll put the weight, its listed weight, uh, on the screen here. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, show you real quick the, well, it's a, it's a headlamp. I'll show you what it's got, what it comes with, and then um, I'll go out and we'll see it in action. Well, I'll go out a little bit later. I will also put a link to this down the bottom. Now, a little bit different. I decided to try the Amazon referral links. So if you like this headlamp and you want to buy one and you use my link, I may get a commission off of that. It doesn't cost you anything more, but I might. I'm going to try that out, see if it does anything for me. If it doesn't, then I'll stop doing it. But figure might as well give it a shot. So the Nebo headlight, the link in the description is a referral link for Amazon, so I may get a commission. So let me get this opened up and we'll see what it looks like on the inside. Let's see how hard it actually is to open. It was actually pretty easy. I just bent it in half. And let's see, we've got user manual. There is a USB cable and it looks like it is, uh, it's, micro USB it's not USB-C it's kind of disappointing but whatever uh, it's got a head strap which isn't too horribly bad it's a little bit big right off the bat but not horribly uncomfortable um, it's got good flexibility to it my old one, the headlamp was, or the strap was heavier than the headlight. And it was like really thick and really like um, so stiff. It was not comfortable. I didn't like it. So I rarely used that. Oh, well, the light works. Okay. And uh, there we go. So yeah. That's the light. I mean, that is pretty, pretty basic and simple. <laughs> Real quick weight on that, uh, 0 0.05 pounds. That does not do ounces or grams. Uh, so you got the light. It's got, obviously, it swivels. It's got... You can see, there we go, and, and kind of the, look at the background right there. So you can kind of see how it's got the slots here. So you can feed the, the strap through. Oh. 
There you go. It's got one of those on either side. It stays on well. Uh, and then on the back side, it's also got that clip for a hat, for like a, the brim of a baseball cap. Which does not appear to come off. Maybe it does. I don't know. I'm not going to take that off. Well, actually, yeah, probably, probably, probably will want to take that off because if you've got that mounted to your head, that's going to kind of suck. Uh, the light itself, well, let's see what's on the side. So you got your power button on one side right there, and then you've got your charging port right there. There's the charging port. So just the micro USB. Would be nice if it had USB C because that's the cut down the amount of cables I got to carry, but no big deal. Uh, and then it's got the center light, and then it's got two smaller lights on the outside. You've got your uh, let's see high, uh, lower, lower, off. So high, medium, and low with green lights, red lights, and then off. There is it says a way to go direct to red. Maybe, maybe if you just hold it for a couple seconds. Yes. So you hold it for about three seconds, it goes right to red. Then it cycles through everything. Do you have to look at the manual for that? Yeah, there's not a lot of information in here. Um, okay, yeah, so there is a little tab in here. Pull the tab towards you to release. There we go. Was that really loud? It was really close to the camera. So that does come off, um, which is nice. But you want to make sure you don't lose that. So that'll save a little weight. And then when you've got it, for times you don't need it on a hat, it makes it a lot more comfortable. So let me put this on here. And we'll see how it feels while you're wearing it. It feels really light. So you go, that's in its clip there. Let's see how I did that. Swing that around to the front. All right, and that's not horrible. You can adjust that, doesn't feel too bad. stays in place pretty good when it's pivoted i'm sure over time that will loosen up but fashionable too don't you think and that's pretty much all you get this was 22 dollars i paid for it on amazon so this will be my new headlamp what i do like about this over my old one is the old one was just um, a round lens that you turned to activate and that would get turned on when it was packed and when it had it in the pack. So I had to kind of wrap it up in a way that it wouldn't turn the light on. And that's probably what eventually wound up destroying the on-off switches. It just it just wore out. This is a button you gotta push, so it should be less likely to turn itself on when it's packed away. So next thing, I will get it outside, wait for it to get dark, and then get it outside and give a good test and see how bright it is. Now, like I said, I wasn't concerned about the lumens because I just really need to illuminate where I currently am. I, I don't do a lot of, I don't really feel the need to illuminate the entire campsite with my headlamp. Um, it'll be used on, on red or low 90% of the time, like my other headlamp was. So, all right, wait for it to get dark. We'll go out and see how bright it gets. Real quick before I go out and wait for this at night, this is my coal hat I got couple years ago I got this with that um, Ugo Air and it was designed to have these little tabs that you could put the the, the headlamp kind of slid in like that had like a flexible base so what I did was I just broke this stitch down at the bottom and I stitched around this to secure it to the hat and then this will slide well it just did right into there it stays on the hat and now I've got 
my winter hat that I usually use with that leather patch and this headlamp actually connects to that. I was hoping that would work. When I, when I saw this online and I saw it had that cap connector, I thought maybe that'll work and it does. So cool, I've got my lightweight headlamp and I don't need the headband in the winter because nights are longer and uh, just wearing a hat and then a headband on top of that uh, can just get uncomfortable after a long period of time. So in the winter, when I'm wearing this hat, that headlamp stays on all night. I don't have to find a place to hang it. Um, in the summer, I don't really care because it, it's light later, gets light earlier, and I can just hang it wherever. But um, yeah, so in the winter, when I'm going to be wearing a hat around camp while it's dark or whatever, I can still use this and it's light enough it doesn't affect the hat at all. Very cool. All right, now we'll go outside and test it out. Okay, so <laughs> finally made it out to do the nighttime stuff with the headlamp. Uh, I will show you camp real quick so you get an idea of what it looks like while well, there's still some light. And then I'll wait for it to get dark and we'll, we'll mess around with it. I've been trying to get out here for about two weeks. And every time I try to get out the camp, the weather turns. And not just like rain, like threats of tornadoes. So that's not that's not fun. I don't want to mess around with that. So finally got a night where I've got the time and the weather's looks like it's going to cooperate. So awesome. I'll flip the camera around, show you camp real quick, and you'll get an idea of how big it is and we'll see how well it lights. All right. So the trail is right there. I'm off the Pincho trail. This is the Keller Swamp campsite. And there's the hammock. That's about I don't know, 20 feet from where I'm standing right now. I got the camera in widescreen and the whole campsite, it, it might be 30 feet over that tree there. It's not very big, but it's gorgeous in here. So we'll see how well it lights up. I uh, can't go real far back there because it is a swamp. But yep, this is what we'll be looking at in the dark. Does it give you an idea? Because if I just come out here in the dark and I turn on a light and show you a tree, you're going to be like, oh, it doesn't really show me anything. <laughs> so, all right, wait for it to get dark and we'll break out that headlamp. All right, so decently dark now, about 10 feet from the hammock. Do my first setting here. That is high. That's pretty decent. Medium. Not, not bad at all. Low, which is what I will probably almost always use it on, is pretty good at a distance of 10 feet. It, it does light up. I can see that pretty well. Right in front of me, it's a lot better. Now that flicker you're seeing, uh, if that's coming through after it's rendered, um, I don't see that with the naked eye. I've only seen that on the camera. Uh, the next set would be a green light. A green light, then a red light, and then off. You can also, when it's off, hold it for three seconds, and it'll go to directly to red. And it kind of reverses the order. Then it'll go green, low, medium, high. And then if you're on high, I don't want to blind you. If you're on high and then you hold it for three seconds, I think it's three or, three or five seconds, it goes to a turbo mode. Boom. And that's, that's way brighter than I would need. But it, it drastically shortens the life of your battery. So. But yeah, I mean, first impressions, I like it. So it's going to be with me in all my adventures for the foreseeable future. And the more long term, I guess, after this. Hope this video helped you guys out. Like I said, if you do decide to click on the link in the description, it is a, a Amazon affiliate link, so there may be a commission that comes to me if you purchase one. It doesn't cost you anything more, but it does kick a little bit to me. So I'm going to give that a try and see if that, that works at all. And, uh, and it's not like I do a lot of review videos, so it'll be an occasional thing. But 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Time for me to get in the hammock, read a book, and drift off to sleep. <laughs>